Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Riddle School 3! I have no idea what the hell is going to happen in this one. Um, I hope they get a lot more rambunctious, because right now it's just a case of getting in, seeing the same characters, and then getting out of school. Nothing too crazy has happened, so let's see what this one is like. If it's not too completely different, then we'll see how we progress in the future ones. But I'm really glad people like these. It's kind of harkening back to the past. Harkening back to when people used to play these. I have no idea when this one came out, but screw it! Let's play! Is that an X-Men symbol? John Bro presents the Riddle High School. That's a very small school at the side of the ocean. Why is it at the ocean? A new grounds game! There's Coldy McColson, there's Smiley, and there's John. I forget all their names already. I should remember them. What's up, bro? Riddle School 3! Okay, that was kind of anticlimactic. I thought you were gonna like pull out a parchment and would have like an Elder Scroll on it or something. Here we go! Okay, first and foremost, graphics. Much nicer than before. Nice one. World map, you are here. World map, you are here, not here. I don't even know how to comment on that. <laughs> okay, Mr. Soggy. That's Mr. Soggy. He's a generally lazy teacher who can be very strict if he wants to be. Moo! That moo is the best thing about this classroom, besides the door to leave. Ah, oh, Zack! That's Zack! I don't know why, but he is always cold. He ran into the cafeteria while it was burning a few days ago and all the flames were frozen solid. From what little I paid attention to, to during my science classes, this shouldn't be possible. I have a feeling that these dudes are all the X-Men. This is like the prequel to X-Men. The prequel to X-Men First Class. These are all the guys and their superpowers. That's my friend Fred. He let me his whistle to escape school a while ago. It's too bad he lost his whistle recently or I'd be out of here in a matter of seconds. Yes. Smiling globe. A smiling globe thing on the wall is not enough to make me happy. It's not really smiling. I mean, it kind of looks like it has a face on it. Peeling wallpaper. Someone must have mistaken the wall for a banana. <laughs> that's Miley. For some, that's Smiley. That's Miley. That's Miley Cyrus. We can't stop. For some dumb, insane, unfathomable reason, she enjoys her classes. I also noticed that she doesn't blink. Good to know. I got a ruler. Can I smack people on the ass with it? There was chewing gum on the globe. I just kept smacking it. There's a rubber band back in that air vent. I would get it, but my fingers couldn't reach. Okay. Ah, oh, that's Mr. Soggy, yeah. Study for the test on Saturday. Who can tell me what is wrong with that sentence? Study for the test on Saturday. Nothing. Oh, because Saturday, school. <laughs> you shouldn't have to be going to school on a Saturday. I really doubt that swiping chalk from the teacher's blackboard will help me escape. Oh, suddenly the feeling of chalk and blackboards against my nails is driving me insane. I hate that feeling. Oh, it makes me want to grind my teeth. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Mr. Soggy doesn't let anyone out of the classroom or out of his sight. Okay, so can I combine these? Yes. Now use this on him. Use this on him. Use this on that. Use this on this. Yeah! Get that rubber band. He doesn't allow you to leave the classroom, but he's fine with you doing this. Nailed it. Nailed it. Got it. Now I don't know what to do. At least I can still use the, the ruler and the chewing gum. Here we go. Pew! Yeah, nice! Fucking knockout! Now he's blind. I'm blind! I can't see! Run! Get out! Escape! Oh yes, he's not even gonna know what happened. That wasn't a very sharp idea. Actually, it was kind of blurry. I'm so sick of your jokes. Everything I've ever learned in school, I learned from looking at an exit sign. I can't go out this way, even though the doors are unlocked. Whoever built this building accidentally made part of the brick wall on the other side of the doors. Why? There was a puddle on the floor. I forgot to check that. Was that piss? There's actual cutscenes in here the same. Shut up! Okay. No, you're a moose. How are you, Mr. Reed? I'm feeling kind of depressed. I'm a librarian and I can't even read. Well, I can read, but only big print books. You see, my eyesight is like a stuffed monkey doll. It's fuzzy. Zonic. <laughs> Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. Not Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. Stop reading. Okay, can I go back out how to read? Read this. 
This book wrote it by George H. Five. <laughs> Face on! Apply directly to the toenail. What? It's leap dollars? This message was paid for by cash. What is happening right now? Poem book by Pinky. Penny poem. Find five pennies. Find them all. Every penny's in the hall. That's beautiful. Riddle school three secret. Don't beat this game two times straight or else you'll meet a certain fate. Should I defeat it twice? Key. Deep in the jungle you will find a key. Guarded by creatures that watch it from trees. Okay. Lol. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave and go back and get the glasses. I was actually gonna see if I could get them before I left. There's goops on the ground. Pennies in the hall! Okay. Here you go. You can't... I can't give you these? Here! What? I thought I get... Ah! Oh, for some reason they didn't work before! Oh! Sweet! Here's a free bookmark. Radical. Right on. I fucking love bookmarks. I said to myself, if I don't get a bookmark from this game, I'm gonna storm out that door and never come back again. That's a locker. Surprise, surprise, it's locked. Are any of them open? Probably not. Okay, pennies in the hall. Pennies in the halls is all. The girl's bathroom. Okay, you just looked at me. <laughs> Aquacola has only one ingredient. Water. Urinals! It's a urinal! Not much else to say there. I can see myself in the mirror! Isn't that exciting? So exciting. Those things behind me are called sinks. You can use them to wash your hands. Got the toilet roll. Toilet! <laughs> okay, here we go. We're doing, we're doing amazing things. We're gonna get out of this school! Are you with me? Hoorah! This place is fucking massive though. Aw oh, man. Paper would be nice if there was a single pencil in this entire building. I really doubt I'll be stapling anything before I escape school. Tissues are the only way to go if you need to sneeze your snot into something. I don't know for sure, but I bet half of those calculators are broken. Those are boxes labeled scissors, rulers, pencils, pens, and markers. That's misleading. Besides air, there's nothing inside any of those boxes. Yay, textbooks without any pages. I got a dime, though. That dime is about a foot and a half out of my reach. So can I use this? Can I use this? Come on! Trash can. What kind of supply closet is this? There isn't even anything in the trash can. This better not be a case of having very, like, tiny click areas. No? Can I stand on this? Aw, oh, man. I have to use everything on everything. Ah, oh, God. That's gonna be annoying. Red locker. All the red lockers here are locked. Okay. Oh, wait. Didn't go into the teacher's lounge. Shut up, phone! Where'd you come from? The hallway. Shoo! <laughs> okay. They, these are the riddles. I fell asleep in class. So? Ah, uh, my teacher said I need coffee to wake me up. Which teacher did you just come from, Mr. Soggy? Soggy is completely against coffee. I remember when he told us a story about coffee. He spilled ten full mugs of coffee on his clothes in the first grade and everybody teased him. They call him Coffee Sog or something like that. And he hated that. He didn't like the way coffee tasted that much either. Good God, you guys are full of fucking stories. Considering that he certainly wouldn't have told you to come and get coffee to wake you up. Shoo. Good God. So what do I do? I'm from chlorophyll too. I want some chlorophyll too. I don't have an extra $200 on me right now. I think I do. What? What do you want your chlorophyll in? Um, Coffee mug? Sorry, those coffee mugs are for coffee only. Soda. All right. I have $197, three quarters, two dimes, four pennies. That should be enough. Actually, that ups to uh, $197.99. You're $2 and a penny short. I knew I shouldn't have bought those cheesy school pencils. Oh, well. You probably shouldn't be in here anyway. What the fuck? That's too many. That's too many outcomes for these bastards. This locker is covered with Newgrounds angry fake stickers. I wish I could say that was my locker, but sadly it isn't. My locker is a clean yellow locker that's upstairs. I'm taking off my shoes, because it's really fucking warm in here. Okay. Oh, stretch it out. Stretch it out. It's time to fucking video game, bitch. Uh, okay, got another penny. Awesome. Uh, the green locker's locked. I didn't click on that. Miscount. Did she miscount her name? The door's locked and the lights are out. 
Miss Count must be someplace else. There's a new Grand's poster on the wall. That's pretty much every post. That's pretty much the best poster I've ever seen in any school ever. Okay. An egg on the wall. I'm just supposing the school ran out of decorations. <laughs> Maybe? The message on the marquee is quite appetizing. Macaroni, 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 macaroni. Put the cheese in the noodles and what do you get? Ma macaroni. That's Greg. He's been sleeping for eight years. My old middle school teacher, Mrs. Sleep, has been asleep for a few years as well. They must be relatives. Or maybe they're dead. What can I get for you? Ooh. Are you Chubbs, Mom? Yes, why? <laughs> You're fatter than the sun. I can live with that. <laughs> um, chocolate pudding, I think I've changed my mind. Sorry, pudding costs a dollar. You don't have enough. Damn it, okay. Penny? No, let's go up. This is confusing. Oh, pudding, I need pudding. Oh, so we get the chocolate pudding for him. There's no pennies in here. Penny, I have four cents. And I need a dollar. Leaping from window prohibited. The school is very strict about nobody escaping through that window, obviously. Of course, I wouldn't be crazy enough to jump out of the window even if I could. I think Mr. Red made that poster. He's the librarian. Sweet Diz. What? <laughs> this is a weird this is a weird version of um Riddle School. It's very complex. It's a button making machine. It's supposed to make buttons that says science rocks on them. What is it making buttons of then? That message is false. H2O equals breadsticks. H2O equals water. Breadsticks equals tasty. <laughs> I've no clue what that is supposed to be a picture of. I think Pluto is no longer a planet because Chubb ate it. <laughs> it's a flask picture on the wall. Mrs. Flask actually looks like a flask. She does! Okay. Is your button making machine almost complete, Mrs. Flask? Well, I feel silly to admit it, but I can't turn it on. It needs a switch or a button to even work. So I need a button to make a button. It doesn't have to be big. All I need is something slightly larger than a pistachio nut. Okay. Toilet paper. Flask. Chewing gum. Okay. Moving on. Uh, they all say, oh man, that's what the panda said. Oh man, that's what the panda said. There's someone in the locker! Oh, I didn't read that! This is Richie! Help me out! What's the combination? I never can remember! <laughs> I have it written down! Give me the note, then! It's in Mrs. Oddverb's room! Tell her I need to get out of here! Got it, bro! Tongues! Haha, <laughs> blockhead! Michael Swain is a genius! I don't know what's going on in this game. Sometimes it's weird. Why does the only clock in the whole school have to be on a poster? B! <laughs> Carrots are people too! They live, they die, they look orange. Or something like that. Now I have five cents. I'm getting out of here in no time. I fucking knew that yellow locker looked different! Now I have ten cents! Yes! That's a new grounds thing. Nice. The door's locked and the lights are out. Mrs. Oddford must be someplace else. Is she in the teacher's lounge? Okay, let's head back. Shut up, Richie! Should call you bitchy. Oh, I didn't go to the auditorium. The auditorium is only unlocked during school performances. That won't happen anytime soon, though. Okay. Good. Are you Mrs. Adverb? Mrs. Adverb, about Richie. What about Richie? Oh, you're Adverb. Bread comes and beaver spit. He's stuck in his locker. His combinations in your class. Again? Do you think I should go to my classroom and look for the combination now? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Well, okay then. I should probably leave too. You're Mrs. Count, right? Miss Count? Alright. The room's bright enough already. I don't think I need to turn on the lamp. I could have sworn the apple in the picture didn't have a bite in it a minute ago. Steve Jobs came in and bit the apple. It's a red couch. I had one of those for breakfast with my dog this morning. I was laughing the last time I had coffee. If I remember correctly, our table had caught fire. I was grounded for 10 seconds after that happened. Okay. I see a peeled banana in the microwave. That's, there's really nothing more to say about that. It's just a peeled banana. Great. Chlorophyll for $200. What? Maybe I need to go to Miss Count and get more money.
What is happening? Go bananas for algebra! I can't call that my favorite poster ever. Monkey round! Okay. What the fuck? It's a stuffed monkey doll. They're one of a kind. Are they? There's a shit ton of them around. Cool, a trash barrel. I want one of those. Why would you? I hate monkeys. <laughs> what the fuck then? Why is your room full of monkeys? You're a weirdo. There's even a monkey on the blackboard. Okay, I got a keyboard key. I don't know how that helps or what it helps. We're going this way. Shut up. Uh, yes. Yes. I found the combination to Richie's locker. It's Richie's locker. Why the goat does it say blobbles? That's Mrs. Adverb. Isn't that odd? No. The letter green isn't as awesome as the color six. <laughs> the stars in this poster spell moo. I thought that was a fucking window outside to space. Must be part of the Milky Way. To be or not to be, that is the poster. That's clever. I'm already angry. Spelling test. I stood it as much as I could for that test. Is that all there is in this room? Okay. Time to get Richie out of this bitchy. Oh my god. Can I even spell blobbles? Oh! This has to- Oh, it's upside down! That's clever, so... 8, B, 7, blobbles. That's really clever! Wait, is that right? Yes, you should be 3. And you should be, uh, 0. That's right! Come on, that's right! Oh, it's not right. Never mind. Blobbles! I cannot spell upside down. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't spell it right at all. Phil! Egg tree! There you go. Ah, the combination. Thanks! Now it's 35 cents. By the way, I'm collecting buttons. Oh? What has that got to do with anything? If you find any buttons or badges of any kind lying around, show them to me. The other lady is doing the buttons thing. Mrs. Flask. It needs a switch or button to even work. Okay, so how do I... How do I make it work? I need to get a button. God, oh! It needs a button! It needs the A button! Durr! That's fucking clever! Or I'm stupid. One or the other. It's one of those two things. Science rocks! Did that actually make a button? May Did that actually make a rock? Like a, a geology rock? Like geology rocks? It's a science rock. This game is too clever for me. Okay, here you go. Here you go. There you go, finally. Ha! Nice! He just stabbed himself with it. Here's my last quarter, keep it. 60 cents! I need a dollar for my pud pud! Okay, what's next? Janitor closet. Toilet roll. What do you want? Here you go. No? My- the bathroom sink is stuck. Nope, not possible. Of all people, I would know if a sink was overflowing. I can hear a plumbing problem from a mile away. Yeah, well, I gave up trying to clean that hallway. How can you get the hallways clean if germ-covered students crowd them multiple times a day? If I actually try cleaning all the halls, I'd never get done. So I never plan to. Okay. Sorry, but I don't have any bread crumbs or bread crumbs or beaver spit with me. I think I leave now. What? What? Can I not do anything? Oh, coin. Coin. How do we get the coin? Do I have to make him leave? What do you want? I want the coin. I can't click on it unless he's out of the room, though. 
I'm not trying to cheat. And if you aren't, sorry for the inconvenience. That's cool. That's a nice little Easter egg. Okay. What? Oh! To the bathroom I go to make a mess. Ha ha ha! Toilet! The toilet's stuck now. I can go back to him. Yes. Go back to the duder. Janitor closet. What do you want? The bathroom is stuck. Nope, not possible. What? I did the thing! Maybe you have to put more shit into it. Stop fucking talking when I come past you. Come on! Aw, oh, man. What do I do? Okay. Moving onwards. There's a room here that I can't get in. Oh, the girl's bathroom. Yeah, never mind. I know! I saw it already! Sorry! Jesus! Use everything on everything! What can I do for you? Uh, chocolate pudding. Yeah, I don't have enough. Can I get the egg down? No! <sighs> Confucius say, where do I go? I need to be able to get this. I'm not trying to quit. I hit the thing by accident. Ooh! Flush the toilet. Now there's a problem in the toilet. <laughs> Do I hear a toilet cog? Ling a ding a ding a ding. Eduardo. The janitor's stalling. Aha! Uh -huh. I get it. I can go back and get the coin. Please be enough for the pudding. 85. There's a bucket on the floor. I better not kick it. Don't kick the bucket. Mop it team up. Mop it team up. Okay, so I went back to the library. And okay, le let me see. Let me see. Library. If you remember this book. It said find five pennies, find them all. Every penny's in the hall. So I found all the pennies in the hall. Then it said, don't beat this game two times straight. Okay, so I didn't beat it again yet. Um, deep in the jungle you will find a key guarded by creatures who watch from trees. So I think there's a key in Miss Count's room in the middle of all the monkeys, but I don't know how to move the monkeys. Like every time I click on shit, it says the same stuff. There's nothing different about any of them. And I can't use this on them. So I don't know what I do. Take my money. Take my money. Slap her. Slap her with the bookmark. I don't know. Oh. Oh, I can search in these things. Money. 90 cents. Blah, blah. Where the fuck do I get the last one? Come on, there must be another one. Come on! This is confusing! Take my money. Take all my money. I need the... God damn it! Did I miss a penny on the floor somewhere? Let me just check. Yes, Chubb. I know you're hungry. I know you want pudding. I'm trying my best, bud. I think... I think that tile got cracked when some kid dropped this drawing of an anvil on the floor. <laughs> God, fuck. Oh yeah, there's another one on top of the... It's a supply closet. How do I get this one? Can I like drag stuff? Come on. Anything? Want to work with anything? No? <gasps> oh. Oh, I can combine the ruler and the bookmark. Yes, Tink. Is that the last one? Please be the last one. Yes. I have a dollar or a hundred cents, as it likes to say. Now let's go to the lunchroom. Let's talk to her. Pudding. There we go. That's enough. Holy fuck. That's not a chocolate pudding. That's a bucket of pudding. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he ate the fucking tin and all. Oh, sweet Jesus. Run, Indy! Did I break into the auditorium? Yeah, baby! Who knew Chubb would make such a great wrecking ball? 
I came in like a chubby ball. Okay, I think that's it. I think I can just go in here now. Office. Hello, this is Mrs. Mooses. How can I help you? Give me all your money. I can see you're not needed here. Have a nice day. <laughs> you're an incident what? Speak for yourself, kid. You're an incident tub of lard. Five appears to be asleep. Yes, he is. What do you want me to do? Uh, wake him up. Huh, like that would do anything. I'm not going to wake him just because you say so, especially when there's no point in doing it. I can see you are not needed here. Have a nice day. Oh, why do I need to tell you? I was sent here to see Mr. Potato. Why would you need to be sent to the counselor? Uh, I have a ruler with gum on it. Says you, I'm in trouble. I can see you're not needed here. Have a nice day. Oh my god. Yeah, we got a clean office award, the worst award, the fattest award, the dull award, the ugliest award, huh? The dirtiest award, the Norosha. Oh god. Why is my picture on the wall? I couldn't find a picture of the counselor. <laughs> um, here to see Mr. Potato. I'm in trouble. Your trouble is not my trouble. Go away, you troublesome troublemaker. Ugh. What do I do? Says you. Ooh. Says, says you on the wall. Um, five appears to be asleep. Count. One, two, three, four, five. That was exciting. Can you leave now? What do I do? Bashed my shoes against the ceiling for 20 minutes. I can see you're not needed here. Have a nice day. Um, you see, Mr. Potato, I'm awesome. I failed to see that logic on, but go right on in. Fuck sick. I had to click that I'm awesome, and that's how I got in. Hello, Mr. Potato. He actually looks like a potato. He's playing video games. A key. Get the key. Is that key speed? Is that it? He did not give two shits. Do I get to leave now? Do I get to leave the school? Yes! Where was the exit? Exit, please! Exit! Oh, thank God we got out! Yes! Riddle High School! It would have been faster to just stay in class and finish out the fucking day. That took forever! It's a nice day out, though. It's a nice day to play my guitar underneath this tree. Ah. You guys have a nice day now. I'm going home. I drive? Aw, oh, fuck yeah. I look badass. I'm actually just gonna head down the coast. Me, me and my thoughts. And we're gonna head down to the beach and see what's what. That's life. That's it, people. That's how we do. The end. Stay tuned after the credits to see your time. I don't want to see my time. It's fucking pitiful. What's my time, bro? What's my time? Are you gonna actually tell me? It took you this long to beat the game. 30 minutes. 30 minutes and 31 seconds. That brings shame upon my family. <laughs> but it was weird because there was a lot of shit all over the place and this was much different than the other ones because the other ones were just like, oh, click on this thing, but now you had to combine and drag. I liked it though. I liked this one the most so far because not only were the visuals nicer, as you'd expect as they go along, but the mechanics are getting more fleshed out and the games are actually being longer. They're not just like, eight minutes long and then you're done, so I actually am looking forward to seeing what the rest of the games have to offer. I probably will play them all, because why the hell not, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face, like a boss, and I all around. <laughs> thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes, and let's A four, no! Oh god, it's still cranked up from the last one. Okay, so. One. Oh, this is it. Two. Three. I want chocolate pudding. Did you see the size of that chocolate pudding? Well, I don't want that size. That one was like bigger than my head. <laughs> but I can't. I, chocolate pudding doesn't agree with me because it's so much chocolate. <laughs>